Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can upgrade your VidStick series to Buzz TV 5 Beta. I have to mention a few things to get this out of the system and make it very easy to process. Number one, that make sure you have a VidStick. Doesn't matter if it's a ST4000, which is the first version, or the VidStick, which is the second version, VidStick Plus or Max you have to use Wi-Fi in order to process this. You can probably see mine right now is connected as a Wi-Fi right there. So I'm not connected as LAN, I'm connected as Wi-Fi. That's number one. Number two, I have to mention that once you go to beta, you cannot come to buzztv.com and ask for help. So once you go to the main page, there is a little help. You cannot go through this to ask your question for Buzz TV 5. So you really need to go to stbtalk.com and once you're in this page, you have to make an account and then go ahead in this, you can ask your question. So in this case, we are using VidStick. So that way we can do this video and there is a beta part, but you can ask your question, first read up that see if anybody else has that same question so you don't have to repeat your question or if you don't see it, don't worry, there is a little search right here. You can search for it, except that you can just open a new topic and go next and you can ask your question, but make sure you do have an account so that way when they reply back to you, you will get your answer quickly and that way you have a verification or an email notification that you have a reply. So this way you can get your question quickly answered. Once you're here, grab your remote, scroll down, and then go to Updates and select it. Now, it will take a couple of seconds. It will go through to check to make sure that you are on this version. Now, it doesn't matter which VidStick you have. This is the last update that came up. And then once you're here, you can use your remote, which in this case, mine is BT100, and I'm going to type 20. 15 and it will quickly go through and check to see if you're eligible now if you just activated your stick doesn't matter you received it today or a week ago and you activated it today and you update it to this today you cannot upgrade yet just like mine you will get this little pop-up that says that you are not eligible right now to get this beta that's okay since you just got this update, it takes roughly a week, which is exactly seven days. But if you are upgraded in November, in this case, this was November 10th, and you still didn't get it, don't worry. You can come here on buzztv.com, see the little help, click on it, put your name, email address, phone number, and then a message. And make sure if you look in the bottom of your VidStick, you have a serial number. You need to enter that right over here, no picture, the actual writing of the serial number in the MAC address, and do indicate that when you did this update and click send. Now, if, and you just activated it, and you wanna bypass that and you send this through, they cannot help you. You don't even get a reply back. That will means that they cannot bypass your time. It's just you gotta wait for that seven days to go through, but if, you did get your update long time ago, and now you're trying to go through the updates. And when they check your serial number, or in this case, MAC address, they will be able to make an exception to push you through, and the system will pick you up, but they will reply to you. And then that's how you're going to be able to go next. And that's it. And then after that, you can do your update. So once you enter your code, you get that little update. Then on the left-hand side, you can read that what the update is about. So it'll give you all of the little menus and features that will tell you exactly what's happening. So there are some little lists that you can read right now that is going through. And then once that is all done, you can just go ahead into the right side and click on update. So this way it will go through to update the file for you. This will take roughly about five to 10 minutes, it depends, that what speed you're getting for your download and how fast it will go through. Now, once that download is done, you will get pop-up that will tell you checking for integrity, 
in this way making sure that how good the box is or how good this file is to make sure you don't miss any of the spots while downloading sometimes wi-fi can be spotty and yes it not doesn't go through but once that is done too it will give you another pop-up which will be a white one will tell you rebooting now once that reboot goes through it will go to a buzz logo and it will tell you that this is installing the update now you have to let this go through you cannot unhook your vid stick except that it will die and then once that also goes through it will give you the buzz logo and it goes through the animation all right so once you're here this is buzz tv5 this is how it everything looks so you have your live tv vod pvr once your live tv is running you have a little picture in picture over here that's not the only thing i will go through once i hook up everything to show you more but for the meantime you have the logo on the top and then you have little settings your date and then also where you are and what is the temperature that's beautiful so that is accurate because we are connected via LAN connection at the meantime. Now let's go down a little bit. So apps, all of the apps are showing up in the bottom. That's not the only thing. If you click on the apps, it shows up on a full screen. Yes, you can select it this way too, but to make it very simple, they made a little shortcut right on the bottom and all of the apps are here, but you cannot move them back and forth. This is just to show you that it is possible to see it on the bottom. And then you have your app toy, and then you can add more shortcuts for the apps to be first one on the list. This is how you will be able to bring something like your Disney Plus in this case. I will just select that and say yes, go back, and it is showing up on this list. Perfect. That I can move back and forth by just clicking OK, or I can remove it, the shortcut, or even uninstall the app right from this shortcut itself. That's not the only thing. Let's go up to settings. This is the latest settings on Bus TV 5. Everything is on the top, all condensed. And yes, you just saw that little weather in the time move down. Perfect. That's not the only thing. You go to the right, you goes to server settings. So you can set up your servers. Another thing is if you want to connect via Wi-Fi, you just have to scroll down, select it, and voila, it's working. Another thing is Bluetooth on or off. You have function over here to turn it on and off. Or you can also go to your LAN, in this way it says connected right now, which is perfect. Your buzz utilities are right over here. Another thing is background. Now remember right now, it is just baby blue, and then it goes to a darker blue on a side. Now for me, how can I fix that? It's very easy. Just have to click on this. Yes, this is my first time, so I will get this little pop-up. I'm going to say allow, but I already moved a bunch of files on this. So this way I can select my picture. Now, I already moved it from SD card to the internal storage under pictures. Now, if you request, we will make another video on showing you how that's possible. But for the meantime, let's select this one to be our background. And easy as that. Now, that's our background. If I want to go back and I want to change it to another one, which is this one, select it in a couple of seconds and it loads and that's my background now. To make it a lot easier and simple, I really like that little blue one this one i'm going to keep this as my background and that's how easy it is to process now you want to check for updates it's in here just click on it and you go on into your updates now there is no more update and you can see that i am on the latest one today and you can see the date if there is more up, up to date it just updates by itself by the way and there's another place that you can check for your regular bus tv 5 beta check so that's for this part and your Software is more up to date now, so it's 2022, January 6th version. Yes, this is perfect. And we will get out of this. Now, the next part that I wanted to mention was Buzz Utilities. That's going to stay the same. You can do everything that you wish over here. Now, one thing I do not want to forget is when it's done. And that way, you will be able to play with your Buzz TV 5 beta on your 4000 series, 4500 series, and also on your Essential E2 series. And the VidSticks series will be next on the update. If you guys like our video, if you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.